Jeffrey Jen uh, to uh, demonstrate uh, some QuickBooks Pro 2016 edition uh, accounting tips. Uh, I'm Jeffrey Schultz and I'm a CPA. I'm located out of Plymouth, Michigan. I've been using QuickBooks for almost 20 years and have been uh, assisting clients uh, use this to uh, keep their books and to make good business decisions off of. So today we're going to uh, just deal with the basics and uh, record a sale um, or a deposit into the checking account. Um, so first of all, um, we are going to go up to lists. Now there are more than a dozen ways to do the same thing within QuickBooks. Um, today we're going to show you how to the basic way of recording a, a sale using the, ch the checking account check register uh, with the uh, assumption that we're just doing everything on a cash basis and not worrying about tracking receivables or anything like that. So uh, sort of a cash and carry thing and not worrying about inventory or anything else. So first thing I did was I clicked on lists and then chose chart of accounts and chart of accounts bring me the chart of accounts and I have cash and bank which I'm going to double click on and it's going to bring me my check register uh, which I had previously uh, recorded a uh, $10,000 loan from the member that says Jeffrey Schultz here which is me and up top here it says again the, the name of the co company we set up was Taxes Are Hard LLC on a previous video we showed you how to set up the company and so today we are going to um, record a sale um, and we're not going to worry about who the name of the uh, customer was. We're just going to simply record a sale and see an increase in cash. So first off, we're just going to uh, assume that uh, the $1,000 uh, deposit of a sale. And we record that. And I hit the tab key. And the tab key automatically takes me to this little area that has the downward arrow. And I'm going to click on that. And it's going to give me my chart of accounts again. And uh, down at the bottom is the expenses, so I, I know if I scroll up, I'm going to hit some income accounts. And so sales is income. Um, your chart of accounts is probably going to be different from mine because you probably set up a different industry type. Um, um, so any of these three income uh, uh, accounts will work for me. Um, for this one, we're just going to assume that we are tax preparation services income. and good there and since I've got my thousand dollar deposit and I've accounted it to, I've assigned it to the account uh, tax preparation service income I can hit record down at the bottom here and as you can see now it has incremented my ten thousand dollar deposit to eleven thousand dollars to add the sales deposit uh, that's all uh, for us today um, you could find out more about uh, our QuickBooks training and QuickBooks help at our company website, which is www.schultz-cpa.com. Again, that's schultz-cpa.com. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you.